Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paola Chapman. I'm a full-time realtor in Miami, Florida and I work with Lux Property. Today I'm going to answer a very common question. How long does it take to close on a house? So it all depends. If you're paying cash, it's usually 30 days and if you're financing, the average time would be 45 to 60 days. However, there are a few things to consider. For example, what type of loan are you going to be getting? Are you getting a conventional loan, an FHA loan, a veteran's loan? How much down payment are you going to be putting? Are you going to be putting 20% down? Are you going to buy a condo or a single family home? All of those things would uh, influence the dates for the closing. The second thing to consider is your financial stability. How much money do you have in the bank? Um, also, if you're just graduating from college and you're just starting your career, um, then you don't have uh, like too much work experience, the bank would also check that. Uh, in this case, the bank would look more carefully at your file because this would be a little bit more risky for the bank, this type of loan. On the other hand, if you're an investor and you have already bought like 10 houses, you have a lot of money in the bank, then in this case, your loan would be processed a lot faster. The third thing that affects your closing date would be your lender. So there are some lenders which are not very responsive and their turnaround time is very long. There are some lenders that you call them, they don't answer back, they don't give you a status of the loan, and there are some other lenders and they would communicate everything that you would call them and you, they would tell you what status of the loan, what is pending, uh, they already um, have these documents and they're just waiting for the borrower to send them these other documents. So. In that scenario, I turn around and these are the type of lenders that you would want to work with. Another thing that would alter the closing date would be how much time does each party need. Uh, there are some cases in which the seller ask, would ask the buyer that uh, they would need uh, like an additional 30 days to close. Uh, let's say for example they have, they have kids and they, have, they are in school and they don't want to take their kids out of school and, and sell the house. So they would ask for an additional time for the closing. And uh, there are some other times when the buyer is on a lease contract, they are leasing a property and they still need like an additional 90 days to, uh, to close because they are under, con under contract and they would prefer to move after the lease expires. If not, they would have to pay a penalty. So to answer your question, the average time would be 30 to 45 days. However, there are some other exceptions in which it would take longer because the part, some of the party requested this additional time or sometimes the lender is not that fast. So um, let me know if you have an additional questions. This is Paola Chapman again with Lux Properties and I'm here to help you.